Welcome to this clearing video for Plague Energy. If you've been feeling bad for, well, Plague Energy's been fairly bad for the last two weeks. Uh, the last week in particular, it's been terrible. It's been really bad. Um, Plague Energy, it's always been around in this matrix, and as I go through the video, I'll explain more about that. Um, but it's really started ramping up a lot for about a month and a half. As the overall density of the earth, the energy that people everywhere really are emitting becomes a lot worse. And overall the earth is going down. It's getting significantly worse. Um, the easier it is for negative entities, this is mainly set up by negative entities. There's not many people, um, certainly no one, no person is to blame for this. It's very much negative entities. Uh, simply taking advantage of the density of the earth becoming a lot worse and the openings they had to bring plague energy in before they've been massively widening um if you thought last week was bad and it was we've got at least another six weeks where things are going to get significantly worse and then from there it will mo <laughs> most likely continue getting worse uh for the foreseeable future so, ideally, this video will counteract that for you, and you won't have that problem. This will clear, or it will lessen the effects of it on you, uh, at least. Um, this video will clear plague energy from yourself, plague curses, uh, entities, just the overall energy in general, plague implants, and it will also clear it from your house. If you've been having a lot of um, spiders, locusts, cockroaches really any kind of insect or bug, uh, a lot of mold, maggots, flies, anything like that in your house, uh, in particular the last month and a half, um, that is all plague energy. Plague energy attracts these things and they're targeting you. Now you may say, okay, well if this is worldwide, why are they in my house? Shouldn't they be in everyone's house? And <laughs> it's a very good question. The reason why they're not in everyone's house is... Most people, especially if they're not energy training, they or if they're not targeted in particular, they don't have any kind of energetic potential that uh, negative entities view as a threat, they're not targeting them as much. So your house is more targeted because they view you as having potential and they view you as being a much better and efficient food source. <laughs> I'm really glad I'm not in Australia now because Australia, every summer we... Um, where I was in particular was really cursed, so insect-wise you get bad. Here, I had one spider show up, which there was no real way in, so I was surprised that this spider showed up, but I just ignored it. And it went away. In Australia, you would have... <laughs> you don't get one spider, unless you get one very violent spider that's killed all the other spiders, and is now going to come after you. Um, as your house does clear with plague energy... You will most likely have, because this plague energy is very rampant, um, various demons, various uh, plague entities, mainly you'll get demonic type entities. They'll be in a humanoid shape. Uh, demons like to appear humanoid as much as they can. Uh, they'll normally be in a humanoid shape. It can be thousands of flies all merged together to make a demonic entity. It can be very old demons that are smell of burning flesh. Um, or smell of sulfur, especially with satanic demons. Overall, this plague energy makes everything worse. Other negative entities then also uh, play into that advantage. So, if you're playing this video and you start smelling sulfur or burning flesh or maggots or flies, that is, these entities have just been erased energetically from you and that is the residual energy um, manifesting as a smell and that will pass. If, while you're watching this, you start tasting flies, uh, or worse, you, you may feel flies coming out of your ears, out of your eyes, out of your nose, those are normal symptoms. They suck. <laughs> I've been energy clearing in the past and been spitting out flies uh, energetically for hours, but it does pass, and you will energetically feel quite a lot better once those are out. Um, plague is one of the, as an energy, is one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. It goes... Plague, war, famine, death. Um, in my parents' house, they had a painting of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. They had terrible energy. The, 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 my parents would say, "Why do you have the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse?" And they'd say, "Oh, it's it's a good painting. There'd, there'd be no real reason. It's just it's just there." 
there'd be Egyptian artif- uh, I'm just not going to say artifacts, like, you know, cr- crappy plastic Egyptian things downstairs and paintings. It was an overall mishmash. Um, in your house, if you do have random Egyptian plastic artifacts, uh, you're better off getting rid of them. If you have paintings of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, that's not a good omen. It's not going to help you whatsoever. Um, if you have any questions to do with, let's just say, any energy topic overall, feel free to ask. Um, because there's really not that much I can talk about with playing energy. If, while you're playing this video, a lot of flies, uh, mosquitoes, spiders show up, that's normal. What it is, is they've put out a distress call saying, this person's house or this person is being cleared. Uh, we need to prevent that and they will throw everything at you. Once it's fully cleared, then that will die down. But it, oftentimes with energy work in general, things do tend to get worse short term for a day or two and then get better. Um, statues of dragons, Tammy's asked. No, statues of dragons are normally quite bad. The, um, I've never seen any positive statues of dragons. Um, that goes for Chinese dragons, Western dragons, uh, fantasy type dragons. Overall, dragons are a negative entity race. They are not good. <laughs> I'm glad that you've got a mouse running you in your room. Uh, that's that's terrific. Um, mice, spiders, things like that. I think just being from Australia and being in the shitty shitty era, I was I was, I was pre I'm pretty desensitized to them. I can wake up and have a mouse running around. Um, and I'll just think, okay, is, is it violent? Like, where, where is it? Is it going to bite me? If it's not going to bite me, I'm going back to sleep. Um, I remember I used to have a... This this was very annoying. I'd be trying to sleep, and above my room was an attic. An attic that I never went to, into. But there must have been a hole in there that a possum could get in, and I'd try and sleep, and I'd just have a possum run back and forward and back and forward above me for hours. And it made it really hard to sleep. Um, now that I know what I know, that would very much have been a regular possum. It's an animal. And then probably... You can actually have a look now. It looks like Prey Mantis entities went inside of him. So, yeah, let, let's mess with his sleep and make him just energetically weaker, lower his resistance by making him more tired. Um, so animals can get hijacked and, and mess with you. So if you've got a whole bunch of mice just charging into your house, especially if you're somewhere terrible... It's not that the mice have a vendetta against you. It's that a demonic entity has gone around and essentially acted like the Pied Piper using his demonic energy and has charged all these mice at you. Uh, does my energy project into the future and shield and clear ahead? Um, Joe is asking because the doors are opened and usually flies will swarm into your house. The healing video doesn't project into the future but it does depending on the density of your energy uh, Joe, you're in the Caribbean so for you once you've played this video the energy should really stay in your house for four days um, if a lot of demonic entities target you or a lot of plague entities target you the duration can decrease but in general um, yeah for you four days for the average person about a week and a half two weeks uh, is how long it lasts if things get quite bad um you, you can play two or three of, the, uh, of this video at once um there's no problem there or you can just make the intention for the uh intensity to increase as i've the way i set my healing videos is the intensity decreases or increases depending on what you can handle and and what you need uh but if you need more you, you can ramp it right up um a big problem with play energy is it makes really any other energy symptom just worse for people if, for example, let's say as an energy symptom, you just get pain here or you had a broken, uh, let's say, left hand uh, in the past, you'll get pain there because that's uh, a weakness that you already have and negative entities will target that. So because plague energy is hitting you and your energetic resistance, which would normally be just fine with your hand, is not up to it. It's not up to the task. Um, and it's over here trying to uh, defend yourself against plague energy. That's why a lot of your entity symptoms that 
this thing like past wounds and other things are coming up now. Uh, what is the best technique to clear eye floaters? Uh, well, the way I do it is I will usually go outside and just, I don't look at the sun, don't do that. You, you can do sun gazing in, you know, small amount. Um, but I will just look at the sky at a blue area and then just see, because I'm looking at a clear color, I can see eye floaters quite well then. And then I'll use my energy to energetically erase through them. And if, if you can't do this, you can put on the uh, heavy metal video and then use its energy with the intention for it to fully focus on clearing eye floaters that way. Eye floaters, for the most part, are just various parasites, metal parasites, uh, usually from magic clouds that are in your eyes. So that's how I do it. With eye floaters, you just want to stay on top of them because the more you ignore them, the, the more you'll accumulate and the more symptoms they'll get. Um, I just went over the four horsemen of the apocalypse. In terms of the apocalypse, by the way, um, I would say we've got quite a while before it happens. It, it would, if the apocalypse does happen, that is an if at this point in time, fortunately, if the apocalypse happens. Fast my train thought, that's very interesting. I'll, I'll just take a second to remember what I was talking about. Ah, oh, that's right. I was going to say, if the apocalypse happens, uh, it's it's a, it's still, relatively speaking, a long way away. Uh, even if you were to start energy training now, you would be able to become quite strong before any kind of apocalyptic event. Um, but no, this plague energy, it is just going to continue ramping up. If things, which is very unlikely, is the way things are going, if things improve on an overall planetary scale of, the, the world lightens up, then the, the plague energy uh, would become less manifested. But the way things are going, this is a compounding factor and making things worse. Um, so f for the time being, I don't see this getting weaker. It should, for the next six weeks, it's going to be strong like and ramp up very quickly. And then it should level out and gradually go up. That's ideal. Um, yeah, that's the most ideal scenario I can see happening with this energy. Um, the other, I'd say horsemen of the apocalypse energies, very much, they're here on earth, but they're not major. Plague seems to be the first horseman. Um, and then the next one would be war and real war, not these, you know, pansy, like false, <laughs> false wars we've had going on for the past 20 years, but real war. Um, but that could also just be an energetic war rather than a physical war. Um, because pulling off any kind of mainstream physical war now with... I wouldn't say the world is awake and alert, but people are awake and alert enough to not enlist in the military because <laughs> they have an idea of what's going on there. Um, and then the fourth one would be death. No, no. Third, third would be starvation, which could be food shortages. Food shortages will not happen worldwide. That, that They will not. Um, if you live next to a farmer, you, you're not going to have food shortages. Um... But in certain countries, there will be. They will do it deliberately. But it could also just be an economic food shortage. They intentionally rack the prices up. Um, that's much more likely than just crops being com and farms being completely barren. Uh, the fourth one is death. Death energy, it, it's been around. That's a major factor with people dying. Um, all these energies, as you train, can be negated to a very large extent um if anyone has any questions let me know what about frogs like big toads yeah toads in particular are very much to do with plague energy toads are evil i've killed a lot of frog and toad entities um especially those cartoony frogs you, you would have seen them um that look the western style cartoon frogs where they wear suits and a top hat and, and a cane um those are very evil uh, in general, in the fourth dimension, so we're in the third dimension, in the fourth dimension, most of what is there is like cartoony um, entities. These would be from matrices that are like ev evil cartoon realms, essentially, and they've come here to just feed off people. Uh, no, this video will not help you with malaria. 
um, it's, it's very much an energy clearing video. If your malaria is a result of plague energy, um, then a physical infection, then yes, but otherwise no. Um, Cindy asks, she has a picture, uh, album of pictures she took on a trip to Egypt many years ago. Should you get rid of them? No, that's, that's going a bit extreme. I would, I, I wouldn't say you need to throw that out. Um, especially because as you're an energy trainer, if you were to look at it, let's say once a year, you, you'd be able to see just, just how bad things are. The, the more you get, uh, the, the more power you, you gain from training the more you can see just how what's really going on. Um, so no, I'd say you don't need to throw out the picture book. Don't put it on a display shelf near, near the front door. Um, you know, put it somewhere where it's not going to affect you as much. But no, you can keep that. How do you reverse blue or purple colored entity vein hybridization? Um... If it's an energetic, so there's, there's two kinds of hybridization. There's, uh, and I'll talk about this when I do an alien video in the future. It's on my list as well. Um, if it's an energetic hybridization, you're seeing it energetically, it'd just be a matter of very slowly erasing that energy and then putting your own energy in there. Physical hybridization, much harder. You'd have to, using the same principle you use to erase heavy metals, you'd energetically have to erase physical um, alien bits, mainly from your within your veins and... Uh, potentially in your DNA as well. That would be the way to do that. And then you'd go in and restore your physical blood. Uh, if you're seeing a blue or white orb of light, especially um, in the darkness, that's bad. That tends to just be negative entity that's... Uh, not negative entity, negative energy that's manifesting physically in your house as an orb. Um, in my experience, orbs, while they're not normally, they very really deliberately target people, uh, in my experience, but they are not positive. They're just something in there. If you go around them, they will steal your energy and they will target you. But for the most part, you can ignore them which is good because they're quite strong. So otherwise, you'd have a serious problem. Yes, if you're finding slugs, um, particularly in places that don't, don't make sense, yes, that's very much to do with plague energy. That yeah, means they're attracted to your house. Uh, a guy's asking a good question. What symptoms would a person infested with plague energy exhibit? Well, they'd have... And this happens with people who, with satanic energy as well, or demonic energy. They stink, and they may shower and smell okay for two minutes, then they stink again. Uh, that's the energy that's manifesting on them. Um, you'd have overall, you'd have, a, you'd have insomnia, you'd have difficulty breathing because you'd have a lot of flies and other plague entities in your lungs. You'd have uh, clouded thought. Oh, just overall diminished capacities uh, of both both physical and mental health. Um, those would be the main symptoms. That and when you go to energetically view things, you just see a wall of flies everywhere, uh, most likely. No, th this video is not for clearing death energy. Um, what are my thoughts on insecticide spray used in the house? Um, well, insecticide is very poisonous for, for the most part, uh, and can impact your health detrimentally a lot. But if you've got, say, a cockroach plague, use it because the cockroaches are going to impact your health a lot more, uh, especially your mental health. Um, but overall try and avoid insecticides, especially regularly. If there's one cockroach, you don't need to spray half a bottle of insecticide on that. You've just poisoned your house. Um, just, just hit it. If possible, you know, not with your hand. You get a fly swat or a book or a shoe. Um, but in general, do try and avoid insecticides uh, unless you have no choice. Could this plague energy affect blood pressure? 
not really, other than really slowing it down and making exercise harder, that would be um, just it making your resistance lower, which would making which would make an energy symptom that you already have worse. Uh, Bonnie's asked a good question. In the past few weeks, different parts of the house have smelled like rotting food where there is no food, like um, closets. Is this plague energy? Yes. That's very much plague energy. Um, back when I was working on my metabolism earlier this year and at the end of last year, I had a lot of energy in me that just looked like rotting food. And I'd, I've never eaten rotted bananas and just it, it, a lot of it looked like cartoon garbage. Like it was very much very vivid, but yeah, quite clearly rotten food. That is associated with plague energy. Um, it's basically a hybridization of plague and gluttony energy that causes that, and it tends to uh, ruin your metabolism. So that means that in your house, there was quite a lot of gluttony energy, which is now being, in, uh, I'd say, now that plague energy in your house is more dense, it's able to manifest itself more. Um, this video should clear those symptoms of <laughs> rotting food, uh, but again, it may be worse for a day or two. Yeah, if you're pure evil, <laughs> flies and other creepy crawlies do tend to be attracted to you because you're on the same frequency as they are, the same wavelength. Uh, do I have a thought on companies and governments encouraging people to eat insects for protein? Well, that sounds dreadful. It's, it's also not that efficient. You can, not, not that I know about insect farming, but modern day farming is quite efficient. Um, we shouldn't have to do that. I'm not quite sure what the agenda is there. The um, vegan agenda is, is that they can have everybody eat manufactured food that they've made, then they can put in whatever they want and gradually dole down the population. Um, but no, I'm not, I'm not going to eat crickets. <laughs> That's, that sounds dreadful. I think at, at that point I'd just be eating vegetables. Although I'm sure once you tried one, you'd be, oh, this isn't so bad. Um, no, I'm not sure what the agenda is. There. It just seems like a very odd thing to push. Yeah, Ajay, that would certainly... Um, Ajay said that Wednesday and Thursday night, uh, he had weird nightmares, one of him escaping a house or mansion controlled by three evil witches. I've had... I'm pretty used to having nightmares, um, although I haven't had them lately up until Plague Energy, and now I'm having them again. Uh, but the more energy strength you have, the more you retain a sense of self in your dreams. Like you, you, You're much more aware of what's going on, and I'll even energetically fight things in my dreams if I'm <laughs> in a decent state. Um, but yes, I've had it, I'm going to say four nights ago, I was sleeping and I woke up and there was a plague demon very much made out of, I'm going to say like seven, 8,000 flies, um, all manifested together around a demonic core that was the main thing, uh, holding this demon together. And while I was asleep, it had come over and put my, I'm going to say, dream self that'd be the best way to describe it your sense of self that you are in dreams into a negative entity realm so i, I went in there um had a nightmare but not not messed on so much shake me anymore so you know things things got dark and then I, I woke up fairly quickly and saw this demonic fly entity <laughs> and went ahead and erased it it took about 20 seconds which does show that you're much more vulnerable in dreams entities that are, are no uh problem whatsoever while, while you're awake can mess with you in dreams just because you're much more open and um to manipulation then um and they can much more easily put you in an entity realm than they can when you're awake now am i planning on updating my website um not at the moment i i probably should but right now how, how i've got it set up um i don't see any reason to change it Uh, getting rid of will getting rid of plague energy also get rid of gluttony energy if they try together. Yes, if they are 
together, and right now they most likely are, because there's so much plague energy going on, and it's just going to get worse, so that'll happen more. Yes, so if you're getting bloating, swelling, particularly the last week or the last two weeks, that is plague energy that's hitting the other potential uh, negative energies you had uh, dormant or not so dormant within your energy. Um, so it just should help with that. Why do I think mosquitoes are more attracted to some people than others? Well, if they're not being influenced by negative entities, then they'll mainly just target whoever. If you're fat, they'll usually target fat people because they, they look bigger. But if there's energy involved and uh, you've got particular entities that are targeting you, yes, they will energetically program mosquitoes to target you. What do I think about lucid dreaming? Um, I haven't invested any time in lucid dreaming. It is, it's something I've done a few times, but not not because I was really going out of my way to do it. Um, I don't think there's any problem with lucid dreaming. Uh, I just don't know much about it at the moment. Um, if we can feel and physically see ourselves being targeted, uh, but can't see the dimension or, or the dimensional entities with closed eyes, what's the best thing we should do? Well, that is a major pro problem. <laughs> it's a problem that a lot of people have. So you wake up, you become aware of what's going on. It's also a reason why I put out the Fundamentals of Energy videos. Um, you know, quite a while before, I thought I'd put out information videos because you can have all the information in the world. And... Um, you know, there are people who will make videos on like daily love light and they'll say, this is what's going on. And other than being consciously aware of it, there's not much you can do and just vigilant. And that's, that's not true. But these people, they're journalists. They're not energy workers. They, the idea of energy work, uh, or, or they're doing like Kundalini or something, you, you know, that's not, that's detrimental to them in the long term. So they don't know that they can train their own energy and overcome these problems. Um, so if you are physically aware of what's going on, but you aren't energetically strong enough to prevent it, um, which was a problem I had, especially before I knew how to energy train. I, I was just like, I can see these ghosts, they're beating me up and I can't do anything about it other than try and physically grab them. Um, the answer is you just have to be patient. Unfortunately, you just have to, or put on these videos, you just have to Keep energy training, and then you will reach a stage so long as you're consistent and you don't stop um, and you don't, you know, do anything too stupid. It's just a matter of time till you'll be strong enough to erase them. That doesn't mean they'll go away and leave you alone. That things <laughs> still bug me, but you can deal with them much easier. And the, the more you train, overall, it, the, the easier it does become. They'll try and make it that, especially when you first start, that you're going uphill and it's a slog, but then it does get easier until you're eventually going downhill, and then it's just a matter of being consistent and keeping at it. Um, I don't really use subliminal affirmation, so I don't know much about it, but that's because the energy there, pretty much all, most of them, I, again, I haven't looked into it much, is pretty bad, because um, while the person making it may have the intention of doing something good, uh, if they've got demonic entities around them, they can make it that it 5% does what the person wants and 95% demonic energy, or they can just be in a demonic trance entirely and the whole thing's bad. Um, but no, I don't know much about it. Thoughts on bees. There are bee entities. Bee entities are rare. They're fairly weak. They're not much of a problem. Um, let's have a look. Are bee en yes, bees have to do with plagues, uh, with plague energy. But uh, overall, bee entities aren't much of a problem. Uh, can this video help your hypertension? The answer is it will help your energetic resistance, which in turn will help your hypertension. Um, but no, this is not specifically designed for that. Uh, can you rephrase that, de healing? Um... Ajaras, in, in a Nexus movie, archaeologists broke into a cave which housed a statue of a Babylonian Mesopotamian god. 
uh, associated with flies and plagues. I have not heard of that connection. I'm going to talk about um, things like that uh, when I do a video on Kundalini because that in particular needs a video on itself because that energy causes people, especially recently, a lot of problems. Um, yes, you will go, go, go on this channel, okay? Go, then go to Fundamentals of Energy, Episode 1, all right? Th that will explain the waterfall technique to you, which will teach you how to sense energy, which is very important because it proves to you that this is real. And then you'll do that technique, and you will you will keep doing it. Uh, for a while, you just do it each day consistently. And doing that, you will build up an energetic foundation. That's how you increase your energetic strength. It's, it's a matter of training. Um, that's a, a complex question, Vince. Can you? He's asked if if he's doing his own energy work and supplementing it with my videos as well. Uh, what could be causing his lung or heart weakness or a feeling of being faint? The answer is just overall energetic targeting. You've just got to keep clearing and get to that layer. I'd say. Do I know the cause of hair loss? There are many causes of hair loss. Quite a few energetic. The main cause of energetic hair loss is usually primantis DNA um, mixed with primantis energy. That's because primantis entities are very common. Um, it's just an alien agenda. Is it possible to pick up attachments and energy in chat groups? Yes. That's a large reason why I don't have a chat group. No, I've never heard of the internal map. Um... How do you energy train if your visualization is bad? Through feeling. You just do it through feeling. Um, if your visualization is bad, it, the, the problem is you need to not believe that your visualization is bad. Uh, your remote viewing can be bad where you're trying to view an area and you're just seeing black and you've got to clear to see it first. But visualization, it's just a matter of creating some, a vision in your mind. It's fairly... Well, I wouldn't say easy. It, it's something that practically everyone can do so long as you believe you can. If you believe you can picture a pen and create it, you know, have a pen in your hand and uh, create a figure in your mind, you, you can visualize. Um, that I, Again, de-healing. If you're getting blocked while energy training, that that there's, there's so many potential things that could be. The matter is to just... Um, you know, keep consistent, keep at it. And if you do get blocked off from one thing, just practice another technique. Uh, why is the earth getting denser? Well, because everybody's walking around with... Well, not everybody. A lot of people are walking around with pineapples in in their arms, which are emitting a negative frequency. They're basically walking cell towers, um, which is lowering... It's basically lowering everyone's energetic density because it's causing everyone harm and putting them in a worse state. Um, and overall, the more negative entities, the more energies get a foothold on this earth and they've got a pretty big one at the moment. The easier it is for the rest of them to get in here and get more of a foothold. It's basically a snowball effect. Once things get worse, they get worse faster. And once things get better, they will potentially, ideally, get better faster. Uh, what will remove primantis energy? Um, just setting the intention to find primantis energy and entity in your body. It looks green. Uh, again, I'll, I'll do an alien video in the future, but I'm not doing that now um, because with all this plague energy, while I can think decently, I that's a complex topic and I wouldn't want to not do it justice. Can I sense negative en entities on every energy, energy you see? It's not a matter of sensing the entities. It's a matter of just seeing the energy and then intuitively knowing what it is or figuring it out through logic. Um, overall, if you've been very tired, especially the, especially the last two weeks, um, just plague energy, you've gone from you know, walk around, let, let's uh, 
for the point of the salary, you've gone from walking around with 10 kilograms on you to now walking around with 50 kilograms. That's essentially what's been going on energetically, um, which means that you can do significantly less throughout the day uh, without becoming, you know, tired uh, than you could before. Uh, when, when someone says all right as a greeting and the others say yes it, no that's not a contract um energy contracts you, uh, unless you're consciously uh, unless you're unless you're high or inebriated unless you're consciously agreeing to a contract just saying yes to something even if the other person is intending something else that doesn't mean anything um, so no Is, uh, I don't know. I've never practiced the law of attraction. Um, any kind of magnetizing things. Well, I've it tends to be mainly based around either satanic or uh, kundalini energy. At, at least the techniques I've seen. Um, so no, I've never tried it. Um, overall, no, I'm, I'm not planning th this video for Plague Energy. It it'll get you through the next six weeks, no problem. Um, is uh, uh, Candida or Thrush Plague Energy? No, they're neither. They're not Plague Energy. Um, I'll talk about this. So there's, um, the, uh, other energy people, I think they try to make things more complex so they sound smarter, but the, the techniques that you develop as you energy train, um, they'll say it's like clear visual, I'll just say it's remote viewing and visualization. And it's, it, these are all acquired skills. They're not something that you start with. They're something that you do have to build up and train. Um, and a few of the skills you'll unlock, you'll turn off right away because they're, really annoying, like uh, clear audience is what they call it, which is essentially the ability to hear negative entities it is really annoying because all negative entities do is lie because it's, it's their programming and scream <laughs> when you're erasing them. <laughs> um, so I, I'll normally turn that off. Like if I, if I turn on my ability to hear right now um, and I'm just erasing plague energy from the overall area, once this video is done with your house and you, um, it will continue going into you and clearing deeper because this plague energy is very deep, and then it will gradually work out uh, on your overall neighborhood. Um, but yeah, when I listen into what's going on, I just hear like, I see mainly skeletons made out of flies, just in the local area, and they're just screaming. Like it's good, and it's not because they feel pain, they don't. It's just because that's how they're programmed. They're trying to get a reaction out of you. Um, so I'll turn that off. Same with the ability to smell uh, negative energy. I turn that off because that sucks. <laughs> If it's really strong, uh, or the energy I'm clearing is quite strong uh, comparatively to me now, then I'll smell it. But in general, I'll try to keep that off. What are my thoughts on Andrew Tate? Well, it's, it's a good question. Um, I did hear he was recently banned. I think he's playing a character, and it's a really good character. It is a very good character for what he's trying to achieve. Uh, what he talks about the Matrix and all that is... He's half right. He, he's gone into... I, um, I believe he's Christian now. Which is... Basically another way to ramshackle you into coming back. Um, his idea of escaping the Matrix and the right race and all that is correct. But I think... Here's the thing. You can die and you can have... Two trillion dollars in the bank, all right? But if, if you've not energy trained at all, you, it's not going to mean anything. Um, so money will not 
really enable you to escape this matrix whatsoever. Um, it'll allow you to buy some crystals and other things which can be beneficial uh, for escaping. And it'll allow you to, you know, maybe have a nice beach house or a house in the woods. Like you, can, you can buy your own mountain if you've got enough money. But um, I'd say on a 3D level, he... he is somewhat accurate. Yes, he, he plays a, a character of being very shocking, intentionally. Um, but by doing that, he's become rather famous. If he was playing a character who was m more grounded and down to earth, he would not have become anywhere near uh, as famous. Um, I don't think he's... Uh, at the moment, he's probably not a shield. They haven't got, gotten to him yet. Which is probably why they banned him. Um, but yeah, overall, he seems okay. Uh, I'll just check other questions. Could this plague energy make other people more evil than they were before? Yes, this plague energy can go into others and basically turn them against you for sure. Uh, when fighting new entities in any type of setting, how long does it take in the beginning to get rid of things you imagine? A while, a while, <laughs> quite a while. I have a story there which uh, is for another time when I talk about more, more uh, ad advanced or um, I'd say my path on figuring out how to fight, especially external negative entities. But yeah, I used to be hacking away at a negative entity for a solid 20 minutes <laughs> with like 10 different swords um, and other weapons until it would finally erase. So it can take a while. Uh, if you're really struggling with something and it's really having a go at you, um, especially if it's a major implant you've, you've stumbled across, it can be hours. Um, the thing is, you're not losing. It's just a matter of being persistent and keeping at it. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to talk about exorcisms because this is not a video on, <laughs> like, on the, how that works. Um, uh, one thing is that they don't really work. That that's what I'll say. They tend to push the thing deeper, and the the proof takes on a lot of the stuff, and it doesn't really work. Um, that from what I've seen from exorcisms. No, the, the future, it's, there's a lot of possibilities, a lot of potentials. It's certainly not set in stone. Um, so I'm not going to say what I see going on with the future right now, because it's, it's variable. It can very much change. Do I drink coffee? No. There's no problem with coffee, so long as you're drinking organic coffee. But no, I don't drink coffee. Um, I wouldn't worry about iron being in your water. There's a lot worse in there um, than that. That's for sure. Uh, if anyone has any other questions on really any energetic topic, uh, feel free to ask them. I was actually going to do a video on Kundalini today, but then this week so many people had... Plague energy, it's like, oh, plague energy, plague energy, plague energy. To the point where I said, look, uh, I'm going to work on you. You've got a whole lot of plague energy. Everybody does right now. So, I'm going to not not do that and work on these other things, which are a problem for you, simply because otherwise I'd have spent the whole week erasing plague energy. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I've got quite a few bracelets on. Um. I'll talk about these at a later date. Is there anything anyone can do to shape a more positive future other than clearing entities and plague entities? Don't waste your time clearing plague energy. That's especially don't do anything insanely stupid with um, energy work. The reason I've been able to do this professionally for two years now is because I'm fairly cautious. Um, I don't do stupid things. I don't run headfirst into things. Um, whereas most people, yeah, they may have a career that's 10, 15 years long, but they'll be positive for three, four months, and then they work on someone that they was beyond them, or they go and work on something that was beyond them, and then they're now demonically possessed, or they're hijacked, and they're taken over. So, 
for example, with Plague of Egypt, I can clear this, right? But if I were to try and, like, actually close this giant rift into the Matrix, no, I'd immediately... Well, not immediately. It, it, it might take a few minutes, but I'd, I'd, I'd be done, all right? Um, so, clear the Plague energy in and around you. Use the video. Uh, but in general, you, you, the main thing people need to work on is just getting energetic. I managed to take some of these bracelets off, so I didn't appear so flashy. Uh, but I forgot. <laughs> of course, it's technical difficulties. It's like, I'll go live. Oh, and my microphone's not working, and that's not working. Because, of course, of course, why would that not happen? Uh, what's the difference between soul colors? Soul colors, it, it just shows, it's like the rings on a tree. It just shows the overall age of how long you've been around in reality for. Um, and the older you've been, the more potential you have and the more past life energy you, you have to uh, tap into an access um, that can be helpful. Past life, not on Earth. The past life energy on Earth, it's, it's not really going to do much, uh, if anything. Uh, but past life energy in other matrices can be very helpful. Overall, though, soul color, it's not something to fixate on. A lot of people do fixate on it. Do not fixate on it. Even if you have a brown soul, they're the youngest soul color. Um, if you energy train and you're consistent about it, you, you can become fairly strong regardless. Now, brown soul people are, that, that's the youngest soul color, are very unlikely to train because it's, they're much more matrix focused, much more 3D focused. Um, but so long as you continue training, uh, soul color is not a major issue. Um, so it's not something for the time being to focus on. Yes, you, you, Vince, it is. It's, you, feeling overall negative for the past few weeks is um, to do with this. Are there any crystals that can help with plague energy? Uh, black tourmaline, selenite. It's overall... Terrific. Um, okay, good, I'm back. My internet just went down. Or no, my internet did not go down. OBS, which is what a streaming software, just went down. Terrific. Um, what was I talking about? Ah, are all blue cells heavily targeted or just some? So, yeah, if your dad's a drug addict and your mum's also a drug addict, you're going to be much more heavily targeted because you're going to have much more trauma. Whereas if your parents, that they just kind of suck. Um, or heck, maybe you're very lucky and you're a blue soul and you're born into a blue soul family. And while your parents are targeted, they're good people. You'll have less trauma then. Um, so it really depends on how much trauma you've had, your upbringing, uh, what country you're in can play a large factor just in the overall density of how negative or positive that country is. Um, and then your overall personality can play a large factor if you're better at just rolling with punches than, you know, curling up on a ball and crying. Um, you'll be less targeted because, again, it, it, all this stuff snowballs. Um, so I would not say all blue souls are heavily targeted, but they are usually pretty much all of them targeted to some extent. Um, can certain scented oils um, or incenses or fragrances combat or repel plague energy? Um, yes, yes. Sage. Sage is coming to mind. Lavender. Various fragrant... Uh, I've got dogs. <laughs> okay, shoot. Down you go. Um, yes, various incenses can help repel plague energy and clear it. Overall, Sage, it tends to just tap into some kind of energetic programming in the entities, and because of it, they'll just get hit by it, and they'll just leave back to where they came, and it'll put them in a state of confusion where they won't even really remember where they went. Is distilled water better than tap water? Yes. <laughs> Very much so. Is there any way to improve your genes? Yes, you can energetically work on them. How do you feel about clapping for extended periods of time? I... Uh, if you feel it helps, if your intuition is telling you to do that, then sure. Can a negative energy pretend to be you? An entity pretend to be you? Um, energetically, yes. You may be energetically clearing and they'll shapeshift or cloak themselves into whatever um, they can to think will mess with you the most. So yes, they will show up as an evil looking version of you. It's not an issue, just erase them the, the, the same way you would if they were looking like they were they were
yes, overall strategy, it, it just uh, manifesting in just overall areas, um, this is to answer a drive's question, it will just make you seem, it, just everyone will just seem a bit sick. They're like, oh no, there must be a flu or cold going around. Well, in reality, it's, it's plague energy. Um, where was I? Is it possible to manifest physical things through God bubble techniques or physical changes in your body? Um, well, if you're thinking of energetically like creating gold out of nothing, with enough energetic strength, theoretically, yes. Um, you, you're, you've asked, is it possible um, physical changes in your body, like growing biceps, for example? Overall, you would still need to exercise, You, you at least as, as far as I can tell at the moment. You can't just sit in your chair and become absolutely shredded by just... Uh, with enough energetic strength, you definitely could, and you could do it to others as well. But... For the time being, you do need to work out, but then you can use your energy to increase your muscle growth rate or to increase your recovery rate. Um, I don't know who the creator of the Matrix is. I, I wouldn't really concern myself with that question. It's it's not something that's going to impact me. Are there are the entities actually aliens in a different dimension? Um, can you rephrase that? How do you awaken your soul's power? Um, it's, it's less so of an awakening of your soul's power and more so just training yourself up now and uh, restoring and undoing damage um, and then training yourself rather than trying to wake up a past version of you. Can animals bring in negative energy with them? Yes. Yeah. Uh, just how people can carry negative energy, animals can as well. So yes. And uh, for example, let's say you've got. I had a friend when I was growing up. Terrible family energetically. Uh, he had a dog. Never toilet trained the dog ever. This dog was hyperactive. Uh, it must have been possessed by demonic and animal energy. Um, this dog attacked attacked me a few times. I was a tiny. Uh, child, so I remember being attacked by a few times. Yes, there would have been hell kind of energy there that would have gone to the dog and been like, "Yes, let's attack that guy." I didn't attack anyone else, really ever. It just attacked me. Um, terrible dog, terrible. Uh, it, it was, of course, the, the family's fault. Um, but yes, animals can very much be hijacked, and that's an extreme example. They can energetically be used as a negative vessel to attack you, but they're a much smaller vessel than a person. So animals, uh, compared to people, they're not usually a problem. Unless you're, you know, out somewhere and <laughs> a bear comes up to you. That's a problem. Otherwise, no, people are a much bigger problem. Does the Matrix collapse at some point? Um... Oh, I wouldn't say it collapses. It could go back to the way it was before. Um, that it's very unlikely to do that. Um, what's the best technique for mindfulness? Just overall, know that unless you're not, if you're consciously not making the thought, it's not yours. It's a program running, or it's negative entities making that thought. Um, just you know, be aware of what's going on in your mind. How do you remove chakras with your own energy? Uh, sure. <laughs> Why not? Um, since that video is no longer up. Uh, which is unfortunate. The way to remove chakras is... Well... F first off... Um, I think I'll, I'll, I'll... I should do a video in the future just talking about chakra removal. So the chakras are implants for anyone who doesn't know. Um, the way to explain this is, so let's say when you were a child, you in your backyard you had a magical water fountain, right? You turned it on, it always gave perfect, clear water. And then one day when you were two, you went outside and there was just a brick wall over your water fountain. Uh, the chakras usually get put in people. They're not in entities. They don't have them. Aliens don't have them. Only people and animals have them. Uh, that While they're alive, if you're dead, the chakras stay in your body. You don't live with your chakras they um, are very much in the physical body so 
Anyway, you came out and somebody built a brick wall and there was a tap there and the tap was okay. It gave decent water, but in time, the tap it became dirty and rusty and you had to clean it. Um, and then you become an adult and you go, oh yeah, this rusty tap, let me try cleaning it. Um, right, that's what the chakras are. And you can clean it and it'll at best give moderate water. Uh, so what you metaphorically want to do is knock down the brick wall and erase all, just get rid of all of that. And then there's your magic water fountain. Okay, that's your own personal energy center. So the chakras are, and I, I went through and did all the chakras, um, but just to, to go over the technique now and not take 10, 15 minutes explaining it. Um, they're essentially major energetic implants over large energy centers in the body. They are top of the head, third eye, throat, um, heart, even though it's in the center, but heart's over there, um, solar plexus, or stomach solar plexus, it's, it's, there's, there's two there, okay, two in the stomach and then root. And then you've got one in each hand and one in each foot. So, to remove the chakras, yeah, this is a safe way, this will not have you do what I did, where you hit every alarm bell in the galaxy and aliens target you all up for like three months to kill them all. So, doing it this way, you'll be just fine. Um, you'll picture one, two, three, four, black cords come out of your head. Same with dog, giraffe, elephant, you name it, different animals, same spots, okay? There's four black cords there. And if you've had a session with me, I, I've erased these from you. So, uh, there are a few ways you can do it. The easiest way, okay, you want to picture a portal above your head that will erase them. If you don't want to erase them, you just want to remove them, you can make it the intention for it to remove them and put them somewhere safe. Um, but I just erase them normally. So, one, two, three, four, Twist, you can do one at a time, yeah, especially if you're new to energy work, just do one at a time, but otherwise you can do all four at once if, if you're strong enough. So twist, pull, You uh, depending on your targeting, there may be a lot of mantis energy. If you're, if you're doing it right now, there'll be a lot of plague energy on them uh, on the outs, external part, the outermost layer. Then you'll twist, pull, out, one, two, three, four, out. Um, then, okay, you've, erased, you've removed your chakras or erased them, but there's a problem. You still have the infrastructure of chakras. So essentially, what you have in your body now is four giant open metal holes that move throughout your body. Yes, this will remove all the chakras mentioned before. This will not work um, on the... Uh, I'm trying to remember how many chakras I said that are in the body. Um, there are chakras in the energy field that are much more complicated. I'll do a video on that later on that you, you need to remove as well, or erase. Um, but once you're out, you now have these holes inside your body. So using your energy, you will go through and clear up the metal and then you will energetically make the intention to restore the holes. So you'll erase the metal, erase all the infrastructure. Otherwise, this infrastructure will just get full of most likely plague energy at the moment. And that'll cause quite a lot of problems. Not as many problems as um, the chakras, but still quite a lot. So you'll go through, you'll erase the infrastructure and then you will restore that. So you'll go through, you'll follow the holes through your body um, and restore them. And that is chakra removal or erasure, the safe way, uh, the way to do it. Are energetic dead zones filled with plague energy? No, they're normally filled with alien energy. Um, if you're talking like the Bermuda Triangle, that's all alien energy. Uh, why do some implants regenerate? They don't regenerate, they, they rebuild. So you missed a part or you didn't see a part deep, deeper down, which is then rebuilt. How can you overcome the fear of energy draining? Um, well, it's kind of like the fear of spiders. So let's say, right, you're in your bed, it's two in the morning, it's pitch black, and you hear <laughs> outside of your room in the hallway. <laughs> and you go, all right, that's annoying. If you're me, you go, okay, I'm going back to sleep. This is annoying. <laughs> I have the door shut. But let's say you have the door open. It's not, it's not shut, all right? So <laughs> that goes on for 40 minutes, and you land, and then you're going, oh! I want to sleep, right? You have to get up, you have to get a shoe, and you've got to go kill that spider, okay? Spider's evil. It won't let you sleep. It's being really annoying. It's like that. Yes, the spider could potentially scare you, but you do have to deal with it. Um, so with energy training, you can grow to the energy training, build up your strength. You don't. You can just do the waterfall technique. You don't have to go and fight entities. But as long as you're doing the waterfall technique, um, you're building up your strength. By doing this now, uh, otherwise, when you die, you'll go, oh, I should have energy trained. Whoops, shouldn't I postpone that for 50 years? And you're now going back, <laughs> right? That's how this works. 
are these alien articles fake news? For the most part, yes, it's, it's a psyop. Um, is Bernie Sage a way to clean negative energy? It is. No, Sage is not a scam. Sage does work. Um, so yes, you can burn Sage, no problem. What do you think about breath work? Uh, Wim Hof breathing is, is very good. Breath work is, is terrific. Uh, don't do Kundalini breathing. Don't do any kind of um, intention to connect with anything other than your own energy or nature, and you'll be just fine breathing. Is the soul? No, the soul and the energy body, um, which is what houses the soul, and then your energetic field around you, these are all things that are not a matrix contract uh, construct. When you die, when an animal... I've got much more experience with animals. Um, when Well, animals post-death. I've got more experience with people alive. But um, when you die, you have your soul, you have your energy body, you have your energy field. These are all yours. These are what you came in with, and these are what you ideally need to retrieve and restore before you leave. Um, so... No, the soul is very much not a matrix construct. They don't have the ability to do that. Otherwise, these NPCs wouldn't be completely empty. They'd at least have some kind of um, soul. Um, they have, there are negative entity artificial souls, but these are they're not like souls. They're, they're shit. So, uh, Yunga said that after I uh, removed her chakra, she no longer had fear. Whatever she did, um, she used to have a sense of fear. Um, so we describe that could be yeah very much an artificial fear that chakras were creating in you that was ir irrational. It was basically oh, I should energy train, but I'll get scared, and they were projecting a sense of fear into you. Um, but no, that's very good to hear. The do I know the best method to calm the body? Just try and be in a calm state all the time. Don't don't allow yourself to get worked up. Um, I, I don't know what a Zeta Seal is, so no, I haven't looked into that. I think you've asked about the subconscious mind before. We've we've talked about this. Um, how were negative entities created? No, we did not. Well, th there are thought form entities. These are not much of a problem because most people energetically are very weak. Um, so no, we, we did not create negative entities. Th this Earth initially did not have negative entities, and then when it became what it did, which is a story for another time... Um, they basically in invaded their way in. Most of these, they're not like you and I. There are evil people, or not, I wouldn't say evil people because they're not people. There are evil beings with evil souls, and they are, for the most part, not in here. They are in another matrix, and they are just using their evil powers to create negative entities who then have the ability to create more negative entities through negative energy. And that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with those. So the majority of negative entities are created by other negative entities, um, just from harnessing the negative energy on Earth. Um, overall, what do you experience when you remove the chakras? Well, um, I experienced like a massive weight was lifted off me and I could remote view before I get block like large blockages of remote viewing, especially if it was anywhere they really didn't want me seeing. Uh, after that, um, after I remove my numbers, that would promote you much better. Again, I'll, I'll do a video on this in more detail because um, it is worthwhile talking about. I actually recorded one more than a year ago um, and I thought, no, no, I can word it better than that. Um, but yeah, that, that is something I do plan to do in the future. A vagus nerve issue is energetic targeting. Um, it, it depends on the issues. If you physically hit your vagus nerve and you weren't pushed, then no. But uh, if the issue has no logical explanation, then often yes. Ah, uh, neodymium magnet bracelet's positive. It's it's a bracelet of two magnets and part copper. Um. I'm looking into the energy of that now. So long as you keep it clean and charged, yes. How can you avoid reincarnation if you haven't... No, you have to energy train. That's... <laughs> you can't... Like, if you just say no, it's, it's not going to mean anything because you're not going to have, have the strength to go against them. You, you have to energy train. And you already are an energy training matrix, so I wouldn't... Um, worry about that.
Uh, Serenity, that's a good question, but that's something that would take, like... <laughs> that'd take a while to explain, um, and I... Uh, yeah, we'll plan to... I'll probably do a healing video just on that uh, topic, in particular, just on trauma in the future. It's a more targeting when starting to an injury training. It's not so much there's more targeting, it's more you were targeted, and then you started injury training, and they've doing what they can to try and make you stop. But it could be not just energy training. It could be, all right, I'm going to get my life together. Um, I'm going to, you know, start selling something you need to, and then they will hit you that way. Uh, at least with energy training, it, it'll get easier because you'll get stronger and you'll clear through them. If you need to go and study something very important, they'll hit you, and then they'll keep hitting you, and you aren't. You know, it's going to get harder, not easier. What's the best way to protect yourself from bad energy in school? That's difficult because yeah, you, you're kind of stuck there. Um, the best way... You, you can play these healing videos. You can even play them at home and just set the intention uh, for them to work on you there. Um, just being vigilant. Don't physically... Try to physically avoid touching others. And... Just, you know, build, build mental strength. You know, just think... Unless someone physically assaults you if someone physically assaults you yeah don't don't tolerate that whatsoever but if, if it's just me mental stuff ignore it. these people they're hijacked their entities they're, they're, you know they're nothing um so just ignore them for the most part uh if you clear the copper cup uh, and charge it to do that then yes death colony it can clear negative energy of water just the energy though it's not going to clear metals unless you charge it. well you can't i don't think you can really charge it theoretically you could but it'd be very difficult to charge it to do that I mean, I tend to get, it's, you know, I am for at least a few years. If something, you know, negative happens to me, I just get calm. Like, I don't really have any example, <laughs> examples. But if, not off the top of my head anyway, but yeah, if something, you know, quite negative happens, I just get very calm. And then it'll only be once the situation's resolved where I might get like the shakes in my hands or something. Um, but in general, no, I'm just like, I, I become a very calm person, um, and that's the best way to deal with all these things. And especially if it's en if it's energy related, I don't even get the shakes or anything. I just I'm calm. I deal with it, and then I'm, I move on to the next energy thing. Uh, why do negative energies, AI entities, portals, implants reappear soon after clearing them? Well, it could be that you have entities uh, or implants rebuilding them that you're just not seeing or uh, finding, or that are at a deeper level. Or it could be that you're training at a level. Uh, at, a, at a good rate and you're just seeing more which you couldn't see before which is more likely um, the best way to set intention is entirely up to you so, you know whatever you feel uh, will work best for you if you have to say it out loud say it out loud I, I never do that but you can do that um, could it be that you're targeted more because of your light is increasing making you stand out more in the darkness well the answer is yes, but I mean, I was targeted a lot, an awful lot. It, like I have memories of when I was three and I remember just having so many ghosts and demons around me all the time, just staring at me. Um, it was really annoying. So while I am certainly targeted much more now than I was when I was three, all of those demons that were targeting me then, and that they're, they're completely non-factors. So it's become easier in that regard. Um, it's overall targeting well, while it is more I can handle it much easier but yes targeting does go up the stronger you get you'll just it, but it will seem less for the most part um, because you can deal with it you know significantly more easily you don't just get you know the crap beat out of you like when I was three and get a whole bunch of health problems that you know are very hard to explain um, you know you Clear these entities, you see these health problems starting to rise up and you clear them and you prevent all that. Um, well, it, it depends very much on your energetic growth rate. Two years is a, oh, just a you know guidepost, um, is what I'd say there. Uh, 
Um, Vanessa says that she has a lot of dreams where she's eating or an entity is eating something. Well, if the entity is eating something, that's really not an issue. If you're eating things, yes, that is that is an issue because in a dream, you can essentially be cloaked. So you'll be in a dream and these will often look like people and they'll feed you something and then you'll wake up and you'll energetically go back into the dream and make the attention to see what was going on and then you'll see that, oh, they were feeding you like mummified fingers, <laughs> not not chocolate bars. And you, you then have to energetically clear those. So yes, they can get things into you in that way and it's bad. Or, you know, just... Well, I, I've never really... I wouldn't say really, that's not been a common occurrence for me, so it's not something I've really uh, had a problem with. Should we avoid being hugged by people, especially during emotionally distressful times? Yes. Yeah, very much so. Don't don't let people with negative energy touch you, because you can't it can't really prevent that. There's an energetic exchange when you touch people. Um, so yes. Do dreams increase with with energy training? Yeah, it it depends on the type of energy training you do. Usually the you you personally can have better, more vivid dreams because your energy is a lot stronger and you can see a lot more. Is Moldavite a good or bad crystal? Uh, it's it's a good crystal. So long as you know how to use it and you clear and charge it properly, it's good. It's it's not a beginner crystal. Do not do not buy like a black tourmaline and then go, oh, buy Moldavite. No, don't, don't do that. But, um, yeah, Moldavite is a good crystal. Does mindfulness meditation make us... It doesn't make you energetically stronger, but it does make you more easily to, to deal with things. No, mindfulness won't increase your strength. You can be... You can increase your energetic strength a lot and still have really negative thoughts. Um, and, you know, a loud mind. You just have to energetically then work on that. Um, so if anyone has any other questions, I've talked about everything I was going to with Plague Energy. Next time I'll take off a few bracelets. So <laughs> not this much. Please make a video for sleep. Um, sure, the, the problem with that, in theory, is that sleep... Well, I could do one that benefits sleep and it would benefit... There can be various problems. Uh, that, like, for example, if I were to make a video for sleep and then this Plague Energy rises up, the sleep video would become less efficient. Um, but yes, I would do a video for sleep in the future. Not not short-term future, but eventually I'll do one. Is learning lucid dreaming just time-wasting? I wouldn't say it's time-wasting. If you, if you want to do it, do it. Um, th there's no real downside to it, so long as you are also training your energetic strength as well. No, the best way to, to to get energetically stronger, yes, you do have you do need to do the waterfall technique, but then you need to do the god bubble. Just keep training your overall energy, and and keep clearing. Um, but yes, what what I meant by that is, so long as you do the waterfall technique, even if you do nothing else and you're terrified of entities, you'll still get energetically stronger. Is it a good idea to shield parts of the body that are vulnerable to attacks? Additionally, to the full body shield, it's it's not really thing is most of the time so if you're getting like chest pain you can shield your heart and then you'll still get the chest pain because it's multi-dimensional it, it's very difficult to shield a particular part of the body you're much better off spending that time clearing instead and working on an overall shield that's just um my findings there um can we make ourselves smarter through energy work yes you you can do that uh you can make yourself smarter um you know over a long period of time yes um that's something i'd also go more detail in later on can you no you can you set the god bubble to multiply on itself uh, well the answer is well i i can it, it depends how good although i don't use the god bubble anymore um it's a very good foundational technique though um but it, it's just focusing technique for you know increasing your own strength so the question is, can you do that more more so than can you do it overall? Because um, it'll just depend on how good you are at um, quick wording and setting things up. Will clearing negative energy and entities around you make the air around you less dense? Yes, yes it will, because there'll be less of them. That, that's how that works. <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, I think this went quite well. Feel free to use this plague video as much as you want. Um, plague energy... At least the next six weeks, it's going to get worse. It'll probably keep getting worse after that, but the next six weeks, it's going to be very noticeable. So, take care.